in this panel discussion. Our campaign asks Ann Arbor voters to vote yes on Proposal A, a city charter amendment on the November ballot. Proposal A will keep the, the public land known as the library lot from being sold to a private developer. The land would remain publicly owned and retained for the purpose of creating an urban park and civic center. Tonight, we'll explain the need for this ballot proposal and our vision for what the community will achieve when voters approve it. Ann Arbor's downtown lacks public open space. It has not been a priority since Liberty Plaza first opened in 1977, over 40 years ago. You can see Liberty Plaza as the green rectangle in the middle of this map, which comes from the 2009 downtown plan. The other downtown parks are Hardscape, Sculpture Plaza, uh, which is a tiny little space, and the Farmer's Market. Yes, that's uh, considered a park. The DDA also counts the sidewalks along Main Street as being a park. <laughs> In 2010, the downtown resident population was about 3,000 people. At that point, the amount of public open space was already inadequate. In the eight years since then, the downtown population has more than doubled and it continues to grow. Ann Arbor has 1,586 more downtown apartments and condos than it did in 2010, with 444 apartments and 25 condo units added in 2018 alone. This development trend shows no sign of slowing down. There is more construction already in the pipeline and ideas for major projects on privately owned land are in active planning. Oops. Sorry, I'm getting button, button crazy here. <laughs> um, even though the downtown population has increased, the amount of public open space has remained static, so this map hasn't changed. One might argue that it has even shrunk as the number of sidewalk permits issued to businesses has increased. Many years ago, before most of us can remember, Ann Arbor had a town square. It was the lawn of the county courthouse. That public space was lost when the courthouse was torn down in the mid-1950s. Some have said that the University of Michigan's Diag is Ann Arbor's town square. While we certainly benefit from the university's willingness to allow use of the space, it is a substitute town square. The Diag will always be the U of M space. Ann Arbor has its own distinct identity and needs its own focal space at its center. Luckily, the city of Ann Arbor owns a parcel of land at the very center of the downtown. When the Parks Advisory Commission evaluated all the potential sites for a downtown park, they concluded that the library lot on the library block was the best candidate. Liberty Plaza is Ann Arbor's only true downtown park. Called a vest pocket park by one of its designers, Liberty Plaza is a modest 11,900 square foot open space connected by footpath to the library lot. When it opened in 1977, it was met with a positive response. However, when the retail uses of the adjacent building went away in the 1980s, the dynamic of the park was altered. The situation at Liberty Plaza can be improved. One way is through activation in relationship to the rest of the block. As Alan Felt put it, we must not miss this opportunity to link development of the library lot to Liberty Plaza, thereby providing a pedestrian link across the entire block and generating foot traffic through both parks. Pedestrian linkages through the block will help both parks become active destinations from several directions. With more people passing by on a regular basis, some behaviors now disturbing public use of, of Liberty Plaza are likely to decline and less likely to appear in the newly created park on Fifth Avenue. In 1988, City Council created a subcommittee to plan redevelopment of the library block. The resulting 1991 report, referred to as the Luckenbach study, envisioned a town square, green space, and pedestrian paths. The Calthorpe Downtown Development Report made this recommendation for the library lot. Pursue and design a town square or central civic area that incorporates an outdoor meeting space, an art center, underground parking, an indoor facility, and mixed-use buildings. Despite all these rounds of consensus building, 
there remained opposing views about the future of the library lot. On the one hand, there were those at City Hall and the DDA who wanted maximum development by a private owner with financial return. On the other hand, there were those who still held on to the idea of a central community space of some kind and opposed the privatization of public land. 